11.2 tangent secants and chords. Find the value of each variable. Let's start with A. A is a central angle, so A is also equal to 104 degrees. All right, B. B corresponds to angle C, which we don't have right now, but we could get it by subtracting 180 from 104. So 180 minus 104 is 76 degrees, so B is 76 degrees, which means that half of that size is going to be C, and half of 76 is 38. All right, then angle D. Angle D corresponds to a, a diameter, so D is 90 degrees. All right, angle E, or arc E, I should say. Arc E corresponds to 43. It's double the size, so 43 times 2 is 86. And finally, F. 86 and F are uh, correspond to the diameter, so 180 minus 86 leaves me with 94 degrees. <clears throat> All right, our first uh, vocabulary word today is called a secant. A secant is a line, ray, or segment that contains a chord. Most often it's gonna be a line that goes all the way through the circle, so it's gonna look something like this, where the line has a chord AB. So that chord extends into a line, so this whole thing is called a secant. Very similar to a chord, it's got similar properties because it contains a chord. So anything that applies to a chord is also going to apply to a secant. Now we're going to talk about the angles that are formed by tangents and secants. So the measure of an angle formed by the intersection, intersection of two tangents, two secants, or a secant and a tangent at a point outside the circle, so we're talking an exterior intersection, is half the difference, so the subtraction, of the intercepted arc. So we're going to draw a picture to show this. So first I'm going to do two tangents. So I want to go tangent here and tangent here. So there's one tangent. And I'm going to do my best. Oh, it's not quite, I should have drawn it over, <laughs> over here. I'm going to draw one tangent going this way. Oh, I did pretty good. And I'm going to make it more like tangent right there. Okay. So if this is angle number one, this arc I'm going to call X and this outer arc I'm going to call Y. Mathematically, if we want the measure of angle one, we would do the big one half, the big minus the small. So Y minus X in this case. So this Y arc minus this x arc in half is the equal to the measure of angle number one, the intersection angle. Same thing is true if it's two secant. So let me do my best to draw this so that secant goes through the circle. So this is angle one, x and y, same property. And then finally, one of them could be tangent and one of them could be secant. So one tangent and one secant. So there's angle one, X and Y, still the same property. So see how these are exterior intersections. So my two lines are intersecting outside of the circle. And that's how you know it's going to be subtraction because inside the circle is going to be something different. So let's try this problem. Scientists want to sandal a satellite signal to reach 35% of the way around the Earth along Circle C. To do this, measure, the measure of AE must equal 126 degrees, which is 35% of 360. So I know AE needs to be 126 degrees. How far from the Earth's surface should the satellite be if the radius of the Earth is about 400,000 miles? So I'm going to draw that in right there, 400,000 for the radius of our Earth. 
So again, how far from the Earth's surface should the satellite be if the radius of the Earth is about 4,000 miles? So this is the line we're looking at. So first question is, what is the measure of angle D? Well, the measure of angle D is going to be half of the big arc minus the small. Well, all I know is the small right now, but I do know it's a chunk of 360 degrees. So 360 minus 126 gives me 234 degrees all the way around the major arc from A to E. So then it's gonna be a half of 234 minus 126, which is gonna be 234 minus 126 is 108, so half 108, which is 54 degrees. So we know this angle, this entire angle, is 54 degrees. But what we're actually trying to do is say how far from the Earth's surface is this going to be? So if I kind of connect that up, and this is the triangle from A to a to C to D. So this is 400,000, I know that's a radius. I also know that there's a piece here that's 400,000, which is this piece of the radius. I've got this missing piece X, which is what we wanna know, how long is it from the surface of the Earth to the satellite. And then this angle here is going to be half of 54 or 27 degrees. The next thing it wants to know is the measure of ADC. We just found that, 27 degrees, because it's going to be half of 54. And now we need to calculate this missing piece of X. So what we actually need to do is calculate this entire length of CD, which I'm going to end up calling Y, and we're going to subtract off 400,000, because then we can calculate this missing piece of X. So focus on it as a Y. So this is a hypotenuse. And 400,000 is an opposite, so opposite and hypotenuse is a so or a sine. So we can set up a sine ratio, the sine of 27 equals 400,000 divided by y, and I'm just going to use the y for now, and we'll subtract off the 400,000. This is going to be a division one or a cross multiply, so y is equal to 400,000 divided by the sine of 27. And then if we want x, we're going to take 400,000 and subtract off because we want, we want to take this value, y, and subtract off the 400,000. So I really should write it in the other direction. Sorry. 400,000 minus the sine of 27 minus 400,000. And then when you pop that into your calculator, you should get approximately... 4,810.8 miles. So this chunk is going to be 4,810.8 miles away from the surface of the Earth. All right, find the measure of RS and PT. So we'd like to know the measure of RS first. Well, that corresponds to 53. So 53 times 2 is 106 degrees. Oops. And then PT is what we'd like to know, this guy right here, which is unknown, but I do know an exterior angle. So I can call this piece X and work backwards. So we can say a half of 106 minus X equals 26. Let's multiply by 2. 106 minus X equals 52. Minus 106 and make it positive is 54 degrees. All right, now let's look at interior angles, intersecting chords. The measure of an angle formed by two chords is equal to half the sum the addition of the measures of the intercepted arc. So rather than an exterior point, if this is an interior point, so one chord, second chord, this intersection 
is going to be the sum of its corresponding arcs, half the sum of its corresponding arcs. So if we want the measure of angle 1, we would take half x plus y. So half the sum of its corresponding arcs, intercepted arcs. So let's take a look at this one. Find the value of x and the measure of vr. So here's my interior angle, its corresponding arcs. So the angle, 3x plus 10, is equal to half the sum of its intercepted arcs. 25 plus 7x minus 20. <clears throat> 6x plus 20 equals 7x and then plus 5. Minus 6, minus 5. Five, so x equals 15. And then we want to know vr, so we just substitute it back in. 7 times 15 minus 20, which is going to be 85 degrees. Why don't you try these last three problems on your own to see if you've got the exterior and interior angle concepts down. Thank you.